At the NREC in Pittsburgh, research is being done to automate the water jet paint stripping of complex three-dimensional surfaces. A test facility has been built to facilitate this research. This video provides a report of our status on automated strip path generation. Traditional handgun water jetting has several disadvantages. In addition to the physical hazards associated with the water jet, the operator is subjected to hazardous paint chemicals. The resulting surface is usually uneven and scored. The first step in the automated process is to generate a laser scan of the item to be stripped. While a two-dimensional laser rangefinder is scanning, it is moved along a track to generate a three-dimensional scan. The scan results are shown on a computer screen as a set of points corresponding to laser rangefinder returns. The results are shown in a three-dimensional viewer which allows the operator to view the scene from a variety of angles. The operator selects a region of the scene to be stripped by dragging a selection box to enclose the desired region. Due to the three-dimensional nature of the geometry, it is usually necessary to view the scene from multiple angles while placing the selection box. A path is generated to fit the geometry of the selected region. As a final check, the operator can view the path in simulation. A moving cone is used to show the location of the water jet. A line is placed on the object to show the form of the generated path. If the operator chooses to change the strip region, the selection box can be moved and a new path can be generated. Stripping performance can easily be adjusted by selecting the robot speed and the overlap distance between passes. When the user is ready, the robot carries out the path generated for the object. A key component to making this system work is collision avoidance. There are two types of collisions that need to be avoided. The first type is when the scene contains some areas that cannot be reached without causing the robot to collide with an object. If the region to be stripped contains areas that cannot be reached by the robot without causing a collision, these regions are identified to the user. This allows the user to see, before paint removal, which areas will not be covered. A path can then be generated that skips over these unreachable areas. The second type of collision to avoid is when the straight line path between two accessible regions passes through the object. In this case, the fact that the path would result in a collision is automatically detected and a path planning algorithm is used to plan a collision free path between the two points. Once the operator is ready, the high pressure water is turned on while the path is traced by the robot. The result is a cleanly stripped surface. These collision detection and avoidance features allow the system to be used for more complicated geometries. Part of a longer strip path is shown here in real time. This technology has potential for many three-dimensional steel structures. It could be applied, for example, to bridges, railroad cars, ballast tanks, and automobiles. 